Our next experiment is experiment number 4 the current shunt and voltage series feedback amplifier. The aim of the experiment is to study and plot the frequency response of a current shunt and voltage series feedback amplifier. So the apparatus uh, which we are required is so we have a transistor, we have a resistor and capacitor, a function generator and a Bode plotter. And here uh, this is the voltage series feedback uh, amplifier. So uh, why, what is the feedback? So feedback plays a very important role in electronic circuits and basic parameters such as the input impedance, output impedance, current and a voltage gain and bandwidth may be altered considerably by the use of feedback for a given amplifier. A portion of the output signal is taken from the output of an amplifier and is combined with the normal input signal and thereby the feedback is accomplished. There are two types of feedback. They are positive feedback and negative feedback. The negative feedback helps to increase the bandwidth and decrease the gain distortion and noise modify input and output resistance as desired a current shunt feedback amplifier circuit as well as uh, we are taken in uh, terms of with capacitor and without capacitor and uh, we have a voltage series uh, feedback amplifier so uh, we uh, need to um, check the output frequency response for this uh, uh, voltage series feedback amplifier this is a uh, voltage series feedback amplifier circuit diagram we have a function generator the input resistance a basic common emitter configuration uh, we are checking the output right so uh, now let us uh, design this uh, voltage series feedback amplifier so first place the capacitor basics the capacitor value is of uh, 0.1 microfarad and next uh, we have a resistance R1 and R2 of 47k kilo ohms and we have another resistor of 10 kilo ohms and we have a transistor another resistor at the emitter section of the transistor that is of 2.2 uh, kilo ohms 2.2 kilo ohms take the transistor of uh, BC107 BP click on OK and uh, we have a VCC voltage which is uh, need to place so and a ground so go on transistor sources go for power sources go for VCC voltage we require and uh, we require ground go for ground click on ok and place it now connect all the components which are placed so um, rotate this uh, R1 and R2 and rotate R3 also so here connect the capacitor so play connect all the components
make sure you have a node here so place go for junction and place a junction here so uh, check the voltage that is nothing but 12 okay place the input function generator or uh, check the resistance resistance R2 of 10 kilo ohms and uh, there is no co uh, collector resistance we have an emitter resistance 2.2 kilo ohms right VCC of 12 volts now right now mm, connect a board a plotter as well as a function generator and the input we have a function generator we have a board a plotter at the output okay so output we are taking across the emitter section and uh, so this is input right so connect the output and this to ground and uh, input we need to check uh, connect to the function generator and this negative we need to connect to the ground and uh, this connect to the okay, the input uh, positive end of the function generator and this to the ground okay now uh, we need to give the input frequency of 50 mainly volts peak to peak and uh, you can give the frequency of 1 kilohertz of sinusoidal signal and uh, frequency of 1 kilohertz a duty cycle will be 50 as it is the amplitude 50 milli volts peak to peak and offset will be 0 and close it and double click on it and uh, click on run now you can get the output so this is the output frequency response of uh, initial you go for 0 and this you go for so this is the output frequency response of a voltage series feedback amplifier so uh, you can see the frequency the gain is constant right for certain range of frequency and this is the output frequency response next thank you our next um, this is for uh, uh, voltage series feedback amplifier our next experiment is uh, a current shunt with a capacitor now let us connect this and check the frequency response go for file new so here we need to connect the second design so um, first initially place the components Pl components first uh, basics capacitor and uh, we have a resistor we have another resistor first place all the components and then you can change the values next resistor next resistor we have next another resistor and uh, another resistor first place all the resistors right uh, we have two transistors and uh, capacitors let us take two capacitors we require you can change the uh, capacitor values later first uh, once uh, place all the components next is transistor transistor is BC107 two transistor we require right so now let us place all the components in an order and uh, place this capacitor and we have an R1 and R2 resistor, R2 resistor. and uh, we have a transistor 
and the capacitor here rotate this and rotate this and shift it shift this also to the above end and we have a resistor here and um, we have another resistor here rotate this and uh, we have a capacitor here another capacitor and we have a resistor here and these two resistance here at the output and we have another resistor right now um, connect this connect to the base here directly connect to the resistor right and here we have a capacitor which is connected and uh, from here we have a resistor which is connected to the R4 and this resistor R3 is connected to this uh, R5 and uh, at the collector when we have another resistor and uh, here we have a capacitor and uh, the resistor rotate this resistor and rotate this resistor also so connect this both resistor and the capacitor this end to the base and uh, place the resistor to the emitter of the transistor Q2 and connect this resistor directly to this or else first delete this and uh, now connect all this common resistors rotate this this should be connected to the collector end and now check you have need to have a common ground and uh, we need to have a VCC go to place component we have we should go for VCC go to sources go to power sources we need to have a VCC go on VCC and click it connect make sure all the connections now right uh, make a note we should have a node here place go to place junction make a node here and place junction make a node is already here and we should have a node here also right and make sure the nodes Right. now check the values here input will be 0.1 microfarad and this will be 47 change the values of 47k and this is of 10 kilo 
this is of 2.2 and this is capacitor value is 22 microfarad and uh, R3 res this resistor of 1 kilo and this is of uh, 4.7 K and uh, this is of 22 microfarad and uh, this is 47 again and uh, this R2 R7 is again of 10 kilo ohms this resistor is of 1k and this is of R2 so all these values uh, check the values VCC will be now 12 volts and now connect the function generator and board a plotter correct the function generator and a board a plotter alright so give the input here and the common is given to the ground and here input is connected to the input of the end of the function generator output is, um, negative is connected to the ground output is given to this end and the negative is connected to the ground again and now check uh, uh, give the input voltage and check the output of Bode plotter input of 1 kilohertz and you give 50 millivolts peak to peak and as it is offset will be same and frequency will be 0 close it and uh, check the output Bode plotter so adjust that waveform so this is the output waveform for uh, the current shunt without capacitor right so this is the output about uh, frequency response now if you connect the capacitor then uh, let's check what is the uh, if we connect the capacitor here for the same uh, circuit at the output what will be the output frequency response now close it and stop connected uh, stop and connect a capacitor of 22 microfarad please here rotate this and connect here Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.